Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we're kicking off Season 5 of Miami Vice and Part 3 of the Sonny Burnett arc in the episode Hostile Takeover. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from October 30th to November 5th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 4th, midway through the Geraldo talk show while taping the episode titled Teen Hate Mongers, a scuffle broke out. The fight included people from the show and attendees in the crowd and ended with Rivera being punched in the face and his nose broken. I guess he got what he wanted. And on November 2nd, the first widely known computer worm started working its way through the internet. Known as the Morris Worm, it infected thousands of computers, including government systems. Named after its creator, Robert Morris, it was the first felony conviction under the 1986 Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. In music, after a wild summer of music, it's time to slow things down a bit. It's good for everyone to take a nice vacation to a small island, because that's where we want to go. Kokomo from the Beach Boys reaches the top spot on the Hot 100 for just one week. From their album Still Cruising and the Cocktail soundtrack, this song was their first number one since 1966. In movies, the busy summer movie schedule is winding down and Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers will hold on to the box office for one more weekend. Also in theaters is the Taylor Hackford classic Everybody's All-American. Starring Jessica Lange, Dennis Quaid, and John Goodman, the film follows the life of a former college football star. Though not received well by critics, the movie is still one I enjoy. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at go with the heat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.